Hey everybody, it's time for Facebook Friday. Happy Friday to all of you. Hopefully you survived the week. It's time for the weekend. It was kind of a crazy week with Valentine's thrown in towards the end. I know those poor teachers have a crazy day on Valentine's Day. All right, so let's see if I am in the right place. I see some people joining. Hi, Linda. All right. You guys have found me good. Hopefully I'm not in a random place doing my Facebook Live. <laughs> All right, well, looks like we've got lots of you joining us. Thank you so much. Um, today is all about the new celebration items. Um, hopefully you've heard about them coming up this week. If you haven't, there is um, a new brochure, looks like this. Um, I've linked to it on my blog. There are three new items that you can get for free starting today, going all the way through the end of March. Hello, hello everybody. Hi, Betty. Um, celebration is probably everybody's favorite time in the Stampin' Up! year. We get free things with our orders. Every $50 we spend, we get something for free. Um, we have level one and level two. Level one is a free item with a $50 order. And level two is free with a hundred dollar order. Um, and it's really, I don't know, I can't ever put in an order that's, you know, less than $50 when I know there's free stuff sitting on the table waiting to be claimed. So for those of us who are stamping up addicts, we need some new stuff because maybe we've gotten almost everything <laughs> from the original brochure. And so Stampin' Up! has offered us three new things. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. So, um, I really kind of struggled with today if I wanted to just focus on one of the free things and do three projects with it, but I decided instead to do one project for each of the three new celebration items. So that's what we're going to do. Catherine, you're plowing snow. Catherine, I am going to tell you that today here in San Antonio, they are predicting us to hit, hit a high heat record and I am not happy about it. They're saying 85 this afternoon, and to me, that is disgusting. So I feel for you plowing snow, but let me tell you, 85 this early in the winter, or this early in the year, is miserable too. <laughs> oh my goodness, lake effect snow belt, no thank you. I couldn't, I don't know, I couldn't do it. I don't need extreme weathers. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is flip the camera around, um, if you have joined me before, you know I always um, give away prizes for sharing the video. So if you would be so kind as to share the video so we can find more stampers, that would be awesome. Um, and I will show you the prizes from last week and I'll show you the prizes from this week, but I think I'm just gonna flip the camera around instead of trying to hold everything up. I'm gonna flip them around so you can see. I've got lots of things to show you before we actually get started, okay? All right, so hang with me just a second. It takes me a minute to do this. It's kind of awkward and clunky as I move this over, but it is what it is. Um, you can see, woo! Sorry, don't look yet, but when I am done, you can see the projects here that we're gonna do, as well as, I'm sorry guys, this is taking me longer than normal, as well as the projects that we did on Tuesday's live. If you were not able to catch me on Tuesday, maybe you've had a busy week, go back, and um, it's on my blog. Um, it's also on my Facebook page. Let me turn that fan down. I have to have the fan on today. Yuck, it's too hot. My room gets way hot when it's hot outside. Um, all right. <laughs> all right, not a smooth transition today. We'll chalk that one up as not good. All right, you guys, I'm looking for my video so I can see your comments a little bit better. All right, there we go. All right, so. Let's see, where do I wanna start? This is what we're gonna do in a little while. Let me move all this out of the way so that you can see the other things I wanna tell you about, okay? Here's the old brochure, which is still current, and the new brochure. I showed you on Tuesday three new things, um, two level ones and one level two. And we're gonna look at these in more in depth in just a little while. Now, if you haven't joined me for Facebook Friday before, I always give the make and takes for free. 
um, with a minimum $30 order using the host code by Monday at midnight, okay? And this is what they look like. I always try to make an extra one so you guys can kind of see. Um, last week we did the butterfly. Um, I always throw in a little a little thank you tag in there, but you they come scored and ready for you to create. Um, as a thank you for your order. So if you would like to put in an order this weekend and get something new for free um, with the celebration items, make sure you use the host code. Unless your order is over $150, I will still send it to you, but at $150, you get free Stampin' Rewards too, okay? Okay, so I've got one class remaining for February. It is the Happy Tales class to go. There are two 3D items that look like this. There's uh, four cards in here. You also um, get a bolt of the gingham, Ga not gingham gala, that's the new stuff, the Knight of Navy gingham ribbon. You can get it with the bundle or without the bundle. Um, $49 with the bundle, no, yeah, 25 without the bundle. And then the PDF is 15 if you just want that PDF, and 13 for my team. The deadline is next week, February 22nd, okay? If you ordered my Sweetest Thing class, um, it's almost done, and it'll be going out early next week. I'm waiting for UPS to come. He's supposed to arrive probably while we're doing this with the rest of the cardstock that I need to put the products, the projects together for you. Um, one thing that I have mentioned to you is that there's something coming March 1st. Here's the PDF, and I think I forgot to link it on the video on Tuesday. It's called Celebration Coordination, and these are items that coordinate with your free products. They cost money. They're not free, so they're different from Celebration, um, and they're coming on March 1st. So one of the things I'm going to use today um, are the framelits right here that go along with our new Four Seasons Celebration items. So I just want you to know that these are coming. If you can't wait for your coordinating frog framelits or your cupcake framelits or your lasting lily frame it, flame it, flame it, that's a new one guys, or the really cool story label punch, these are things you can actually add to your starter kit right now. You know the starter kit right now during celebration is $99. You get $175 product of your choice and these can be part of your $175 in product of your choice. There's also the second option, $129. You still get $175 in product, um, but you also get a beautiful um, tote bag, which I have shown you. Oh, he's right on time. Mr. UPS is showing up. Charlie is in his kennel, so hopefully you guys won't hear him. Here's the um, items the celebration coordination items. These were designed to really add more value to the free items that you got. You're gonna get um, a little more stretch out of them, I think. Um, more Than Words is a stamp set that coordinates with the stamps, all the stamps in the celebration offering. Um, cupcakes, um, because adulting is hard, that's hilarious. Um, there's sprinkles on top that goes with cupcakes. Leaping for joy is easy to do. That goes great with the frogs. So anyway, that's one of them. Here's a punch that I am haven't even let myself use yet, but it's awesome. This is um, one of the celebration coordination items. And then, of course, the framelits that are coming, the frog framelits. Look at the lily pad. He's so cute. Um, and look, even something to cut out those little flies. And then we have this one. This goes with the cupcakes. Look, you don't have to fussy cut anymore, right? Even that middle weird piece that when I showed you guys, I was like, this is a weird piece that has a framelit. Things to go on top of your cupcakes. The Lasting Lily, which I haven't used with you guys yet. I've done a couple of things with it, um, but framelits for that is perfect because that's a great one to do 3D with dimensionals and, and stuff. And then of course, two really cool framelits. Um, so, and the other one we'll use in a little while with our Painted Seasons. So those are coming up. Here's the, the flyer, March 1st. You can start ordering those. But like I said, if you want them now, you can add them to your starter kit. If you would like to join my team and get all the fun benefits of being a demonstrator, now would be a wonderful time to do it because you get lots of free stuff. Um, I always offer this tutorial bundle free with a $50 order and you can see I've shown it to you before lots of free tutorials in here designed by 12 different Stampin' Up! demonstrators. Um, this little project is the one that I have in there this month. 
Um, I mail these out, email these out about once a week, and I did yesterday. I sent out yesterday's for all the last seven days. So if you didn't get it, please let me know. Um, you have to spend fifty dollars in my online store to get it, um, and then I email it to you for free. There's also a subscription available if you don't. Um, want to order from me, maybe you are a demonstrator or you have your own demonstrator, you can subscribe and get this in your inbox every month on the first for $15. Um, it's either $15 a month or you can pay for the whole thing up um, ahead of time. And when you subscribe, you're going to get that six month for free. So check it out. It's linked there on my blog. Okay. How about some prizes? Um, last week I was giving away nine lives. Um, one person who shared, Edwina Starnes, that's you, and Debbie Hughes, she entered, entered the raffle copter over on my blog. Debbie, I definitely have your mailing address, but Edwina, I don't think I have yours. So if you will email me or message me your uh, mailing address, I will get these out to you um, Tuesday, because Monday's a holiday. And then on this past Tuesday during Facebook Live, I promised to do um, a prize for sharing that video. And this one goes to Tracy Horton. And this is Fable Friends. Guys, and I am designing a class to go right now with Fable Friends, so stay tuned. So Tracy Horton, mm, I feel like I do have your mailing address. I, th I feel like we've had this conversation. But if you see it before I see it, message me and it'll be easier. Okay, now next, this week's prize for sharing the video. How about Incredible Like You? I've got two. And it's got the, um, the Calypso Coral Ribbon. So anybody who shares the video will be entered into a drawing for one. And then you can go over to my blog and enter the raffle copter. So even if you're watching on YouTube and you watch the recording later, you can still hop over to my blog and enter the raffle copter. Um, so two ways to win. If you're on Facebook, you can do both. Okay. All right, now let's see, I think we're ready to stamp. Let me move all of my junk out of the way. Lots of junk. Oh, now my Stampin' Up! order is sitting on my porch. It's very hard to focus. Okay, so we talked about the three new project products on Tuesday. We've got this one, which is Painted Seasons. And we're going to make a card with that. We're going to do this all adorned, which is designed for the Stamparatus. And then this one, which we're going to do with the Country Florals um, embossing folder. Okay, if you want this tutorial, you got to hop over to Tuesday or here on Facebook. It's actually over on Pink Buckaroo Designs and not Pink Buckaroo Stampers Group, but you can find it over there. Um, and if you have not joined me for Facebook Friday before, over on my blog right now, I have these PDF, this PDF for you. It's there under the last photo and it's going to have all the products that I use as well as the measurements and any of the things that I talked about. There's links here for you to go check them out. Okay, so we're going to start with the Painted Seasons and I do... I, I will say I'm playing favorites. Painted Seasons is my favorite of the three choices. I think I told you guys that on Tuesday. Um, the paper is beautiful. It's a bundle and you're going to get two things in this bundle. You're going to get the Painted Seasons stamp set and you're going to get a pack of this gorgeous Painted Seasons designer series paper. It's 12 by 12 and there's four double-sided designs and you're going to get three of each. I I love each one of them. There's not one that I don't like at all. So that's unusual. Sometimes there's a, you know one or two patterns in a pack and I'm like, nah, I'm never going to use that. But this one, <laughs> I love all of them. And the best thing is that these images coordinate perfectly with that paper, which is perfect. So we're going to make this one with this little pine cone. Everybody's commenting on that pine cone, how much they love the pine cone. I'm also using this stamp set, which you may have overlooked in the occasions catalog. It's called Strong and Beautiful. Um, and it is really a great sentiment, you know, kind of those more meaningful cards. Um, you have to look through the catalog. I don't remember what page it's on, but it's on the occasions uh, in the occasions catalog. It's called Strong and Beautiful. Check it out. It's it's a really good one that I think you would probably get quite a bit of use out of. Now, before we make the card, let's look at some other ones. Here's one that I did with a mushroom paper. That's the from that new set stamp set that I told you is coming out on the first with the hedgehogs. I thought immediately of the hedgehogs. 
um, set when I saw that paper. The Succulents, which is super hot, super popular right now. And I really like how they paired it with that petal pink. I um, never would have thought to put petal pink with those succulent colors, but look how beautiful it is. Really nice. Here's the card we're making. And then here's the one with the flowers. Really beautiful. That paper just is such, you know, it's like the star of the, the card and I hate to cover it up at all. Okay, so what we're gonna do first, let's do our stamping first. And did you know that if you're wondering what colors um, are in a pack of paper, this one, this paper has a ton of colors and I had to actually check it several times because it was so many different colors. But in the catalog, any catalog, you can look under the paper and it'll tell you exactly what colors are there. So the greens in here were Call Me Clover and Lemon Lime Twist, which is not necessarily what I thought right away. Um, but I know that I have those ink colors so they're gonna match perfectly, um, which is a, you know, probably one of Stampin' Up's most popular um, attributes is that we have this great color coordination. You can also find that in on the back of the paper when you get your paper pack there's a cardboard piece there and it will tell you exactly what colors are in that paper. All right so lemon lime twist. I better close that. I know better than to leave that open. And Shannon just said I love that pine cone. Shannon if I had a nickel for every time someone said that this week. Everybody loves the pine cone. Isn't that funny? Um, and that was not the thing that really stood out to me in this set. It was that big flower, but I like it too. So Call Me Clover Lemon Lime Twist on Whisper White, and then I'm gonna stamp the pine cone here on Crumb Cake in Soft Suede, and then I'm gonna co come over here on this um, Whisper White stitched oval and I stamped it once and then again in lighter strength. So I stamped and then stamped. Um, we're gonna cover most of that up, but it's kind of in the background. Now here's the stamp that I'm using from the Strong and Beautiful. You have what it takes to be unstoppable and I couldn't be more proud. I immediately think of my girls, my daughters with that. Uh, I can just, I don't know, that just is who I think of when I read that sentiment because there are so many times when they they make me feel like that. And then there are times when they make me feel the complete opposite, but we won't talk about that. <laughs> Lately in particular, we've been having some of those moments, but for the most part, we're good. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna use the framelits. On Tuesday, we fussy cut, right? I showed you that you can fussy cut even if you don't have these framelits yet. But today, why don't we just use the framelits? Because we have about two weeks, two weeks from today actually, it was March 1st, so not too long for you to have to wait for those framelits. And if you order this weekend so that you can get the make and takes for free, then on March 1st, you can order the framelits and get something else for free. All right, so use your magnetic platform. It will hold those little guys in place. And put that there. If your framelits jump around on your magnetic platform, don't worry, that's normal sometimes as your plate gets wear and tear. Those, what, how it was explained to me is that the little magnets inside with age, or if you've dropped it, will kind of flip and then they kind of repel. Um, and it only seems to happen with those tiny framelits. But if that happens, just move your framelit around. I keep moving this paper, let me put some tape on it. Um, move the framelit to where it wants to go don't fight it and then just slide your paper over so that the framelit will stay in place because there is no fighting a magnet that wants to go a certain direction oh uh, carrie i'm sorry that you're sick all right so i'm going to stick this first one on with a glue dot you guys i <laughs> i shouldn't even tell you all this but i recorded these videos earlier this morning that's always I always do that so you have a clean recording and all three of them were disasters they just I don't know I just wasn't doing a very good job I'm not sure if I'm even going to upload them. <laughs> and I don't want to redo them so if you go back to watch the clean recordings just please forgive me for the craziness <laughs> hopefully I can edit most of it out um so I put these two on with glue dots and this one with a dimensional okay all right, now let's put it together. 
Um, I have cut a piece of that paper that has the pine cones on it. See the bag, it has pool party, like a chevron. And then I cut a strip of the one that has the mushrooms and we're gonna use that. This is um, one by five and a fourth and this is four by five and a fourth. I've also cut a, an old, no, an early espresso um, stitched, let me think of the name, Be Mine Stitched Edge, I don't know, it's a stitched piece, guys, from the Be Mine Stitched Framelits. <laughs> I don't know what the name, I don't know what the name of the individual framelit is called. Usually I can come up with a name, but not for this one. All right, so I'm going to adhere it there on that one inch piece and then put this over here on the left side. You know, I'm going to adjust this. I feel like we're not pointing in the right direction there. That's a little bit better. Hmm. Hmm. I need to move this. That's what I need to do. I need to move that. All right. Sorry. Okay. Now, I really was looking for kind of a rustic um, trim. And so this is the braided linen trim. Do you remember this from the holiday catalog? It was super popular. It is not in any current catalog. However, it's it carried over. So that means it's available online. Um, so don't forget about it. Sometimes we forget about these things that aren't in the catalog. Now I've taken a mini glue dot and put it at the top and the bottom just to kind of hold this in place. Let me get it nice and straight. And then I'm just going to trim that and grab my masking. No, is this scotch or masking? I don't know, I can never remember. My tape, just my regular tape scotch, scotch tape, right? And just tape it over so it's wrapped around. Now, let's adhere this to our card front, just like that. There we go. I'm thinking about Tracy, um, who won the prize, and Tracy, I'm laughing now because I remember our conversation. Tracy, well, Tracy, I have your address. <laughs> I have your address. I'm laughing. You know, the older I get, the less I can remember. It's really embarrassing. I have a horrible memory, you guys. It's all that Diet Coke I used to drink, probably. <sighs> all right, so I put that strip up there, and now I'm making a little bow, and we're just gonna put that right there, and done. Now, this is a dark card base, so you would need to put a piece of Whisper White in here, four by five and a fourth, so you could write your message. But other than that, look how cute. Do you guys love this paper? It's so beautiful. And I, I was going to do three of, three of the cards from here, this one, this one, and then this one. But I decided I need to show you the other things too, because they're pretty amazing. Okay, I hope you like project number one. And let me clean up my mess just a tad and get my second project over here. Now remember you guys, those framelits are not available yet. They will be available on March 1st. Okay, the free celebration bundle is available but not the framelits, not yet. But I can't not tell you guys about them so that you'll know that they're coming. Okay, project number two features the country floral embossing folder. And I have to tell you that when I saw the, the, the brochure and the offering of the new celebration stuff, I was like, meh, okay, embossing folder. I don't know, I, I love embossing folders, I just don't use them very much, but I made myself play with it last week so I could tell you about it, and I am a little bit addicted to it now. Um, the card that we're gonna make, I've shown you already. It looks like this, and it looks like the wallpaper in my bedroom when I was um, like seven or eight. <laughs> it totally reminds me of that. Um, but the fun thing is this: the sample here, right here in the brochure, this is what started this coloring of the embossing folder. I'm not sure I would even have thought of it had I not looked at the sample. And now I'm seeing other people online doing it. It's kind of a, a fun thing to do. So that's what we're going to do. But I, I want to show you, I played around yesterday with these. I did the, kind of the same thing in different colors. And now this one, here's the difference, okay? This one is done with an aqua painter. See how it all kind of spreads out it's a little bit messier? 
um, but I still really like it. You have to use, this is um, watercolor paper, okay? So you've got to use your watercolor paper. Um, and different colors, this is Poppy Parade and Mango Melody and a little bit of Pumpkin Pie and Daffodil Delight, but really cool. But then you don't have to color it, you can leave it white. And this time I did it on shimmer white, so it's a little bit shimmery. It's not not the glitter paper, you know, not our glimmer paper, but shimmery, just a little more elegant, like a wedding card. The flowers are from um, the teapot set, tea together, I think. Okay, and then here's one that I did um, where I just left it white and put it in a frame. Okay, so don't feel like you need to spend a lot of time on this every time. Um, I My downline, Kara, did a really cool Valentine's project where she just did the heart. She cut, she embossed it and cut out the heart and just colored the little pieces within the heart. So it was definitely not as time consuming as this one. Okay, the other stamp I am, well, the only stamp I'm using in this project is called Life is Grand. It is also in the Occasions catalog. And you can see how it looks, um, you know, like it's gonna be like metallic with that kind of two tone there. Of course it doesn't have to be, but immediately I thought those should be like in silver and gold. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, let's do the embossed piece first. Now don't worry you guys, I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me for 20 minutes coloring this, this piece. I've got it done ahead of time, but I am gonna show you. I'm gonna start it so you can see, okay? My computer keeps dinging, I need to silence that. I'm sorry guys, I try to remember to do that, but I don't always remember. Um, okay, so this is our thicker, it's called the Dynamic Impressions Textured Embossing Folder, which means it's thick and it's thicker than our normal embossing folders and it makes a really deep um, image in your paper. So when you use these thicker ones, you need to use your regular platform and just one clear plate, okay? It's very thick and if you try to use two plates, you're not gonna get it through your Big Shot. And if you do, your Big Shot's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I have had that happen, but don't force it. If you have to force it, then it's not the right little sandwich, okay? All right, so I have done Thick Whisper White because we're gonna color it with Stampin' Blends. And I feel like Stampin' Blends and Thick Whisper White just um, are a better mix. You can use regular Whisper White. I just always gravitate to the Thick Whisper White because um, it, I feel like it holds the ink a little bit better. Now, I'm just gonna start with one of the big flowers and light Daffodil Delight. And I'm gonna kind of go along the outside, color it, and it's funny because the ink will just kind of spread out to the edge of, of the, the little flower. It's, you know, almost like a border, it's popped up. Um, at my team meeting on Monday, we did a lot of discussion <laughs> on this folder and the image within the catalog. And I was telling them, because at that point I had only tried it with the Aqua Painter, and so I told them I would try the blends, and of course I did, and it is great. But then yesterday, when I made the second sample, I felt like I wanted to use the Aqua Painter. You know, it's just kind of two different feels. Um, the, the blends is gonna stay more, Oh, I don't know, what are the words? Sharp, you know, it's gonna, it's not gonna spread out as much. Um, but the Aqua Painter is going to just kind of, you know, take on the life of its own. The more water you use, the, you know, the more it's gonna spread. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take um, my light old olive. And really you could um, use any colors, of course. You could use multiple colors, however you want. However you wanna do it, you guys. There's no rules. Um, and this is, I would say it takes me at least, I've colored this about four times now, and I would say it takes me about 15 to 20 minutes, really, to get it colored. It's not a quick and easy project. And that's me, someone who's really fast. I tend to do everything really fast. So, you know, if you have a long car ride ahead of you, take a few of these in your blends um, and just color, it really is fun. Now, um, you would just continue, and what I did is I did all the flowers first. 
And then I went back with the green, with the, the old olives, and did all the, the leaves. So, you know, you don't have to switch back and forth between your markers. And there's not a whole lot of shading that can happen, really. I did a little bit on that rose because it has a lot of, um, you know, the depth. But these smaller flowers, I just took the darker colors and did the center. Okay, now, confession. The, the sample card that the original one I did was back a couple of weeks ago when, remember when I thought that the gold shimmer paint was still current? Yeah, it's not. So I had to change. So this one, I just flicked the ink like this. You take it and you flick it like that. And I think it looks like I may have even done Mango Melody just to kind of get closer to that gold. But what I found, and on this, the done one here in a minute, I'm gonna show you. There are these little dots here, and you can just take your blend and the bullet point and just touch them, and they're like the perfect circle. So you can go through and do that, and I kinda like that better. Really neat like that, okay? Okay, Magic of Television. Ta-da! Done. Isn't it beautiful? I think this is probably the best one that I've done <laughs> out of all the ones I've done. Um, see the little dots, how cute they are? And uh, I don't know. I just, I just love it. I love it, love it. Okay, so I'm going to adhere this to a Daffodil Delight card base. And put that right there. Now, I didn't want to cover it up. I'm reading your comments. <laughs> Laughing at the pothole comment. Yes, that's true. And if you're driving, you can't color while you're driving. Don't try, you guys. You have to be the passenger. I did not want to color cover this up too much because it's so beautiful. Um, when I did this one earlier today, I almost felt like I was covering it up too much. So when I designed this one, I used vellum. And we are using, remember, life is grand. Let me make sure, because I'm using that twice today, yes. How to make sure I'm using the right one. Life is grand, and we're going to emboss it in gold. And that's, you know, when I had the gold shimmer paint that I could flick on there, that's kind of why I went with gold, but whatever. Still looks cute, even without the gold flicks. All right, so hit your vellum with your embossing buddy. Um, that's going to remove all that static cling that might be sticking around. It's going to keep your embossing powder in the right place. And I'm gonna stamp this in Versamark. Versamark is a clear sticky ink that is used for embossing. By the way, you guys, I was doing a little bit of research on Versamark because I think I'm gonna start a technique club in um, April. So I'm doing some technique research and Versamark has a lot of uses. So stay tuned on that. All right, so I put gold embossing powder on there. It's gonna take me a minute to get my heat tool to heat up to the right temperature. There we go. Can you guys see it turning liquid gold? It's very pretty. All right, be careful with your vellum because you can scorch it, I think, easier than you can scorch regular paper. You just wanna be very careful and move that gun around while you're, you're heating it. Hello, everybody who's just joining. Thank you for joining. All right, now, Fast Fuse is great for vellum because you can't see through it. However, as we know, Fast Fuse has retired. So if you don't have Fast Fuse, what you can do is get a little bit of Tombow liquid and put it on like your silicone sheet and get a sponge and you know get it light on your sponge and put it on the back of your vellum and then put it down and it will be just fine and you won't be able to see it. I think I put that down a little bit lower but that's okay. All right now we're going to use these butterflies from the butterfly um, elements. Remember, these are free. Also, this is a this is one of the original um, celebration offers, offerings, and you, many of you probably already have these. They're great. You can emboss them. You can 
paint them. You can do all kinds of things. So I'm going to put three there. And then I felt like, well, we needed a little more bling. So this is, these are the metallic sequins. And I'm going to use my little take your pick tool. Oh, wait, I need my fine tip glue pen. Do you think Stampin' Up! will bring something? You know, Shannon, that's a great question. She's asking me if I think Stampin' Up! will bring something back similar to Fat. Oh my, that was a giant bubble. All right, come on. Let me wipe that off. Darn it. See, guys, I'm a horrible liquid glue person. Um, what is happening? That is a giant blob. Okay. Oh my goodness. I don't know what's happening here, but we're just going to go with it. Um, I hope so, Shannon. I love Fast Fuse. I know that there were some problems with the Fast Fuse. Um, it, um, some of them, you know, like you'd get it and then it would just immediately unravel. I don't know if that's why they stopped using it. Um, but um, I hope that they find an improvement for it because I do love it. And I have a drawer full and I think it was about this time last year, wasn't it, that they announced that it would be done and we wouldn't be getting it anymore. And I still have a ton left. I was wondering how long it would last. <laughs> All right, I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I accidentally put giant blobs of glue on here with my fine, there, that's better. With my fine tip glue pen, I have no idea why. Because you guys, I'm telling you, I'm the worst with liquid glue. And I'm picking these little sequins up with my take your pick tool no black sequin you need to stay there and then i'm just setting it down on that little giant blob of <laughs> glue oh, yes you know donna i do believe that fast fuse was made by tombow um i i think and i know exactly what you're talking about she's saying that they tombow has their own um version and i believe that they are identical um yeah i agree Okay, there we go. What do you guys think? Look at that. So cute. I love it. Um, here, let's look at the first one because the first one I did with an aqua painter. You can kind of see how it's a little more messier than this one with the blends. So my um, conclusion is you can do it either way. You have more control of it this way, but this is more of a watercolor um you know, abstract. I love it. I love this folder. I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. Okay, so project two, done. Now, uh, we've got one more, and this one <laughs> is fun, and I will tell you, full disclosure, that it took me a while to figure things out with the help of my downline. Um, we got it all figured out. <laughs> you know, sometimes, sometimes the simplest answer is the one that I cannot see. Does, do you guys, does that happen to you guys? Like I, I pick the, the most difficult way to do something. And then someone says, why didn't you just, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, and then I think, well, I have no idea. It's like my brain looks for the most complicated solutions. So luckily my downline Gina sent me a funny little email and she helped me make this less complicated. All right, so this is the All Adorned stamp set. Stampin' Up! has a video um, that you can check out. It is designed for our favorite Stamparatus. Um, these line up, you know, you can use the Stamparatus to line them up, and you can also do the hinge step, you know, where you stamp it and then you move it down and you stamp it and you move it down and you stamp it. And that's how I did this card, okay? Lots of um, hinge step. And then um, they have this, this corner right here, which you can look at the um, sample in the catalog and they will show you a square card where those were the corners. And this is where <laughs> Gina helped me. I was like thinking you could only do it with a square piece of cardstock, but duh, you can do it with a regular piece of cardstock. So anyway, Sometimes even she who stamps all day can't figure things out, just to, to let you know. If you have a Stamparatus, I highly recommend you get this stamp set. It's fun, it's really fun, and I think uh, the more people play with it, the more we're gonna see some ideas. Um, I did this, this kind of reminds me of an alien or something. Do you see the little 
this little thing. I don't know. It reminds me of an alien, but I like it. It's the corner, the piece that's designed for the corner. We're just doing it backwards instead of in the corner, okay? Um, and here it is in Night of Navy and Balmy Blue, but we're going to do it in these rich purples, which is Blackberry Bliss and Rich Razzleberry, okay? Okay, now this, <laughs> again, um, this video I made earlier today wasn't quite the best, but hopefully we're gonna, we're gonna knock it out of the park on live, okay? So you need your Stamparatus, and you need to put your foam mat down because it is a photopolymer stamp set. You gotta have that mat and you have photopolymer. Take one of your magnets and put it up here so that this doesn't slip and move, okay? Now, we're gonna stamp this in the corner like this, okay? You, for this to work out, this paper has to be three and seven eighths wide. The length really doesn't matter, but to keep it um, equivalent on all four sides on your card base, you would want it to be five and an eighth. So three and seven eighths and five and an eighth. Now, I'm gonna use this corner down here to line this up like this. So when I put this down here, I'm gonna use these lines, these four squares right here. And I'm gonna line it up. And this is the problem. I cannot stick my head right over the camera, but we're gonna hope for the best. And let's see, okay? Let's stamp it on our grid paper and see what it looks like. It looks like a moth. Yes, Carol, it looks like something kind of, I don't know, creepy? But it, but then but then I see Nina's comment, elegant, and I think this card is very elegant, yes. Okay, so it looks pretty straight. We might be a little bit crooked right here, but I think this will work. This is one of those that you're gonna wanna play with, and you might have to make adjustments, um, which, is, which is fine, you know, it's, I mean, honestly, my cards, things that I make typically need adjustments as I'm making them. I don't just make things perfect every time, guys. I know. You, you may have thought that, but no. Rarely. All right, so I've put my cardstock right here. This is Rich Razzleberry, and I'm using Blackberry Bliss Ink. I'm trying to make sure that it's right on the line. And I'm going to close this down and stamp it. Looks good. So now I'm going to turn this cardstock. Uh-oh, no, no, stay there. I'm going to turn this cardstock 45 degrees and make sure that we're in the lines, in the lines, and let's see. Now, I, you know what, if it's a little bit higher or lower, it'll be fine. But really what I want to make sure is that those lines line up. Did I ink that? I don't remember inking it. I don't think I did, let's do it again. You now it's overlapped a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. Hmm, I like it. All right, turn, line it up. I know, Carol, I know, I know. You would think that everything is perfect when you see it on camera, right? No, oh no. If you could see what goes into my recycling bin quite a lot. All right, so I'm just turning it 45 degrees, turning, turning, turning. And there we go. Thank you, Carol. All right, this is gonna work out perfectly. There we go. Now you can see it's overlapped a little bit here. So if you're a perfectionist, you could do it again and move the, your stamp just like a smidge over. But I think it's fine. And we're gonna go with it. I'm not a perfectionist. I'm really not. All right, let's put it on our card base. This card is pretty simple. After you've done that, we're just gonna put it down on a Blackberry Bliss card base like that. All right, and this piece is gonna go here. Now, if you're using a square piece of cardstock, these would actually line up right here. So it would need to be three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths, I think. You'd have to try it, but I think that way you could get them all together. All right, so we're gonna take a piece of Blackberry Bliss and do the sentiment across here. We're gonna use that same stamp set from the last, the last project, Life is Grand. And this time we're gonna do the gold on Blackberry Bliss cardstock. 
first the mark. This one says make a wish. There's a another sentiment that goes with that. Dot 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 and enjoy your day. Happy birthday. So that can go on the inside. All right, so here we go. Versa mark. Ooh, and it looks nice and straight. Nice job. This is one of those stamp sets that you just need to play with, you know? Um, it's not straightforward, really. It's um, kind of a, I don't want to say advanced, because that's not really advanced, but it's one that you would really need to experiment and play with um, to see what all those things can do on your stamp apparatus. And I, I really look forward to seeing what other people come up with. When, when we as demonstrators first get these stamp sets and there's no samples online, there's no videos, nobody's done anything, sometimes it's kind of hard um, to, to think about what you can do. Um, but uh, I do look forward to seeing what everybody else does with it. All right, liquid gold again. Very pretty. Hello, Judy, that's all right. Okay, now. Let's make sure that's done. I also, for this one, cut this stitched scallop border. That's what it's called, stitched scallop border from the meant to be stitched framelits, or mm, is that what they're called? Valentine framelits, the Valentine heart framelits. All right, let me make that even. There we go. Now, you could put it down here. Now you could be totally done right here. You could be done, right? Beautiful. But you could also take it one step further and get some metallic pearls and using your cute little take your pick tool. I don't know what that little fuzz is. You can get your pearls and go right along that little swish like that. Even my make take your pick tool was being naughty during my videos this morning. Like, oh my goodness. All right, see how I'm just kind of following along that that swoosh of the the H, the flourish. Is that what it's called? And going right along and making it just a little bit fancier. Now, you guys, if you put your order in by Monday at midnight using the host code, I'm gonna send you all three of these projects, including the embellishments that you'll need. I'll have the gold border that you need. It'll be cut out in there for you. The um, braided trim from the first project will be there for you. All right, look at that. Very fun, really fun. What do you guys think? Funky and different, yes, with our either alien moth or totally, what did, um, um, I'm losing my words, um, fancy, you know, background, but I like it. You know, some gold thread tied here along the seam would be really pretty too. Okay, you guys, let's take a look at all the things I've showed you. Now, these other stamp, these other projects that I didn't do, but that I showed you, will be on my blog in the coming week, okay? So be looking for them. Let's get all of these over here. This was the country home. All right, now those of you who are still watching, what's your favorite? Is it the painted season? Is it the country home embossing folder? Or is it the all adorned? I would love for everybody to just chime in and let me know. Where are my other samples? Here's this one. Are they on the tray? Yes. Here they are. Let me know. What are you going to get on your first order beginning today? What are you, which one are you going to pick? Carla says painted season. Donna says country home. Linda says the folder also. Oh, okay. We have three votes for the four votes for the embossing folder. Interesting. Judy is brave and she's going to attempt the all adorned. Wow. Overwhelmingly, you guys are saying the embossing folder. I would never have thought that. Well, good. I'm glad I spent some time with it for you um, because it really is kind of a neat, different 
um, technique to do with that. All right, you guys, that's it for me today. Don't forget to use your host code. I will, when I'm finished here, I will add the link to the new, where is it? The new brochure if you want to take a look at those samples. Um, and then remember, 50 free with a $50 order, free with a $50 order, free with a $100 order. Those are the celebration items. And the make and takes are yours free with a $30 order, minimum $30 order by Monday at midnight. Oh, now I'm seeing more votes come in. Uh, embossing folder and all, wow, it's just all over the place. Painted seasons. I know, I know it's going to be a hard choice. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you had a great week. I hope you have a good weekend. On Tuesday, um, I usually do Facebook Live on Tuesday afternoons. My daughter is getting braces on Tuesday afternoons. So watch next week. I'll let you know. It'll probably be Wednesday afternoon, maybe Tuesday morning. I'm not sure. But Tuesday afternoon will be, um, it, it will not happen at, at 2 o'clock. It'll have to be a different time. All right, you guys, stay warm, those of you up north. I will talk to you next week. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.